Hello, friends, and happy Friday. We made it through the week. I hope you did. Anyway, I barely did. I'm doing a writing challenge right now on my other channel, which is called Writing in Montreal, and I've failed miserably. It's only two weeks long. As someone who completed NaNoWriMo, I thought I would be doing better, but I'm not. Sometimes it's just not the time to try and write like Stephen King every day when you also have a full-time job. <laughs> if you are visiting this channel for the first time, my name is Holly, and I like to stop in for a minute to say hi, personalize this a little bit before I get into the gameplay where I do not currently use a face cam. So this is me saying, hello, happy Friday. And with that, let's game. Welcome back to the second episode of my 100 baby challenge, or kind of the first episode, uh, because the first one was a cast video, and this one we are actually going to play. So we have Winter Saga here. I am going to be naming each heir after a season, uh, and I have given her the most basic of basics. She's got a little kitchen, a space to eat, a space to work, a uh, place to paint. She can sleep. She's got, well, she's got a bit more than basic with the bathrooms. We've got to start to two bathrooms and a place for her to uh, grow some plants. I know, I'm pretty sure that, oh yeah, you can't use money cheats, so we are on track here. She has a very, very minimal start, and we're going to try and work our way up and make a cute 100 baby house and have 100 babies. And here is a man. Hello, sir. I would like for our heir to get pregnant in this episode. One thing that I have done with my baby challenges in the past is sort of go for the most iconic sims, like Mortimer Goth. I know, homewrecker, right? But she's not... Is she really a homewrecker? She just wants their donation. <laughs> so I think I might want to do that, uh, if possible. So we're going to go out, and we are going to see who we can see. Maybe go to a park... And I'm also going to see who is living in these houses because I am playing in Lil Simsy's Simsy Save and I can't remember if she left all of the iconic townies around. I think she did. You also might notice that I did change our Sims hair. I loved the hair that we had, but I wanted her to be a little more, um, I don't know, conservative, I guess, especially at the beginning. So who do we have here? We do have goths. Uh, do we have pancakes? <laughs> yes, we have pancakes. Okay, so we will be able to find some iconic sims. So I think we will just go to the park, maybe go walk around in the park a little bit. If you are not familiar with the 100 Baby Challenge, I posted the full rules in my first video, which you can check out either right now before you get into this one or after this one if you're not too into watching casts but I have sticky notes on my monitor to remind me of the most uh, important points that I have to keep track of as I go. Let's play some chess and keep an eye out for eligible uh, donors. That's what they're called in this challenge. <laughs> so for the most important rules I'm going to try and remember we've got no money cheats, uh, can't merge into another house, no unfair mods, so nothing that's going to give you a larger household, anything that's like a boost in the challenge, no in-game lifespan, lifespan or resurrection buffs, you can age up babies at the birthday notification. Who are you? You are very prim, sir. I'm going to try and introduce ourselves to any man that comes along. Um, so yeah, babies age up when you get the notification that it's their birthday. Toddlers age up when they have three points in all skills. Children and teens age up when they reach A in school. And then when they're a young, ad young adult, you move them out. Usually what I do is I always give the children the same last name as their dad. So it's easier to keep track of who you have uh, <laughs> mated with. And then I move them into the dad's house after. It's like, they're a young adult. You take care of this now. Pay for their college. 
Uh, when the matriarch is an elder, then the youngest girl takes over. The matriarch cannot have a career, um, but teens can, although there was a slight update for parenthood, I think, where they can do some, you know, maybe not parenthood, but there was a, um, a pack where they're allowed to do like a work at home job. So a freelancer job, something like that. Um, you can have a maid, but you can't have a nanny. Who's this? Oh, he's a teen. We're not going to introduce ourselves to him. This is a very pretty park. So you can have a maid, but you can't have a nanny or a caterer or a butler because they all help take care of the children, of course. You cannot get married while you are the matriarch, meaning you could while you're an elder, and you can't use the same donor twice. Randomize everything with personalities with the babies, no gender control, and you can choose your lot traits once. So I did choose our lot traits so that they will help with the game. One that will help with homework, one that will help with babies, and another one that I think helps with general learning. Now, there are another set of rules that I'm going to call the soft rules that I might not necessarily follow because this is a lot to remember. Okay, first mark. First mark alert, guys. First mark. <laughs> we have Bjorn Bjergsen, and he is one of the wealthier um, EA townie sims, and we definitely would like to have a baby with him. This is going to be our first baby daddy. Hey, everyone, leave us alone. We have some important business to talk about. We have some flirting to get on. Ooh, and we're hungry, so maybe we could go on a date or at least grab lunch together. He's actually quite attractive. He's got a great nose. I love big noses. So, soft rules. The, um, oh yeah, this one, Matri Matriarch can do work from home jobs. I don't think I'm going to have her do that. I'm going to have her do the classic painting, gardening, that sort of thing. You can go on vacation, but you must bring the whole household. I don't know if we're going to get to go on vacation but we'll see. Teens must have one value in trait range. Now, that seems kind of hard mode to me, but we'll see. We'll try. Um, matriarch must discipline all bad behavior. So if your child is making a mess, you need to go and like you have to drop everything and go discipline them. And that also seems very much hard mode to me. So another is if you have an alien or vampire or mermaid, any occult baby, they have to be in their hum human form if leaving the lot. If a townie discovers them, you have to wipe their mind and then never interact with them again. <laughs> this is a lot to remember. When you have an occult baby, they count as two babies. This I don't understand even a little bit. Maybe it's because of the previous rule because that's kind of difficult to manage. But generally, they're kind of easier to take care of, like a vampire baby. So I feel like in that sense, they should count as half or at least just one. And finally, if your heir is an occult, then you sacrifice that bonus. Also having an occult air is easy mode. I, the very first time I tried this, I did this with a vampire matriarch and she just, you can get a hundred babies with the same matriarch cause she lives forever and she can teleport to the babies. It's totally overpowered. We are going to take Bjorn out to lunch. So yeah, those are the soft rules. I am going to focus mostly on the quote unquote, hard rules, which are the classic rules, and we are not going to break those. Where do we want to go for lunch? Uh, I was just there. <laughs> there are no restaurants there. Oasis Springs, maybe? Is there a restaurant here? No, I think we just have restaurants in Newcrest right now. Okay, breadsticks, let us eat. The Breakfast Club. Well, it's not breakfast, so let's go to Breadsticks. Oh, I didn't know he dressed that way. I, that doesn't strike me as formal wear. Let's just 
can we match maybe come on Bjorn can we like can we match up I want to see your formal wear imagine just doing this to someone hey can I see your formal wear go put your formal wear on right now carry all your outfits with you all the time so that I can see any one of your outfits on a whim <laughs> There we go. Now we're going to request a table. Now that you look all snazzy. He looks very snazzy. I think these two are going to make cute babies. I just have a hunch. This dress looks really white. I was watching back my first cast video where I'm saying, well, it's tinted blue. I don't want a white formal dress. That's not white. It looks pretty white. Uh, I still like it. If you're watching, let me know what you think. If that's too white and wedding-y for her formal dress. If I have more input saying that it is, I'm probably going to just suck it up and change it. Is that... Oh, Nancy Landgrab. I want your husband, Nancy. <laughs> I'm acting like she's doing the Black Widow challenge or something when she is not, but I, I guess since I'm going to have her children move back in with their dads after, it is nice if they have someone who can support them through uh, college or however they're choosing to get their start. Bjorn is going to get pasta and Winter is going to get caprese salad. Now we can get to know each other. It's not a date because they are not romantic yet, but we'd like to get to, to know him a bit. We're not just going to go out and hook up immediately. We want to know. We want to know what this person is like. There's an option to boast about her family, but she doesn't really have a family yet. We're not even going to ask if he's single. We know he's not. We're just going to have her flirt. <laughs> I have found, I don't know if you've ever found this, if you, um, if you play rather than just watch gameplay, but I have found sometimes if you ask a sim who you're trying to get to cheat on their spouse, if you ask them if they're single... They are less favorable to flirting with you. It's like they might sort of get into it, but the second you straight up say like, hey, are you single? They back off and they don't want to flirt with you anymore. You've reminded them and they feel bad. <laughs> I could be totally off. I've just noticed it seems like that. Judith Ward, that walk. Uh, it's not going so well with the flirting so far. Um. Oh, are you are you shocked that I just flirted with him? Oh, our matriarch's gonna get a. Uh, She's going to get a bad reputation if she keeps taking out her uh, her potential partners for meals. <laughs> That's fine. We have a goal. We have a goal in life, and we are not going to let any bad reputation get in our way. Ah, oh, he's still not into it. Well, friends, I don't know if we are going to get our first baby in this episode. <laughs> Bjorn is being difficult. How dare he be loyal to his wife? <laughs> Come on. I guess we just, we shouldn't have flirted yet. We shouldn't have flirted yet. the salad good at least yeah she's tearing through that salad 
the smooth recovery is working. He he's into her recovery every time. Like I think he genuinely is just interested in being her friend, and she keeps throwing that flirt in, and he's like, ah, stop, just stop it. I know that stargazing helps and also taking selfies together. So maybe we're going to do a little bit of that. Where's the photo option? Okay, take photo with. Should we do what, uh, what Simsy did when she did her 100 baby challenge that took five years and put up photos of all of these... Uh, all the parents? Maybe. It's a lot of work, but it might be fun to have. They actually look really cute together. <laughs> Ooh, that is too bright. That's nice and soft. Uh, maybe try like that. Yeah. So what did that do for our friendship? Oh, whoa. Okay. Wow. All right. How did that raise friendship so much? That's crazy. Okay, so maybe maybe we'll do all right. Let's get out of the public eye. Judith Ward is here anyway, taking over everyone's attention and messing up gameplay. The celebrities can be so annoying <laughs> in this game. So we're going to go home. Bjorn has agreed to come. It's 10 at night. So mm, we'll see. We'll see if maybe he wants to stargaze a bit and maybe stay the night. And we'll wind this day down. Hopefully we can get our matriarch pregnant right away. And when we wind this down, I'm going to go make a pie because I am pre-recording and it is March 14th right now, which means it is pie day. I'm very excited. Let's see if he'll flirt now. We have to go to the bathroom first. He is back in his everyday clothing and winter is still in her formal wear. <laughs> let's, let's talk inside. Okay, all right. So, I think he just really did not want to be out for lunch flirting in public, which completely makes sense if you are going to be interested in someone and, you know, messing around behind your spouse's back. This challenge makes all of the townie sims just look like the worst people even though it is my fault as ruler of their universe. The house is nice and clean. Oh, we have another get to know. We do want to get to know him. I would like to know all of his traits. What do we know so far? Let's just check it out. We know that he is a secret agent. He divulged that real fast. <laughs> he is a member of the Good Timers and the Garden Gnomes. Oh, we don't know any of his traits yet. I guess I just asked his uh, career before. And we know he's married to Clara. Uh -huh. The kiss hands one is always weird. It surprises me that it works so early on. Like, I don't think I've ever kissed the hands of someone I've dated or been romantically involved with. <laughs> and these sims are just like, ooh, we just started flirting. I'm going to kiss your hands. I guess it's kind of old-fashioned cute. Confess attraction is dangerous, but embrace tends to work. I don't like pizza. Are you a hater of pizza, too? I doubt that you dislike pizza. Everyone likes pizza. Cue one person in the comments saying they hate pizza. The dress looks nice and blue in this light. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Whoa. He is smitten and thinking about underwear. We are off to an excellent start today. Can we try for a baby yet? She's hungry again. You just had dinner. Yes. Try for a baby. And then we'll never see him again. <laughs> I 
Playing with fire here, Bjorn. Playing with fire. <laughs> She's so tired. <laughs> that is the most unenthusiastic walk to woohoo I have ever witnessed in my life. Break out the candles, make it romantic. Winter is about to woohoo for the first time. The first of many, many, many times. My goal is 25 babies with each heir. I did it with uh, this challenge before when I only got through like the first heir and it was possible. So the goal is 25, especially because let's just look at those lot traits again that I mentioned before. We do have on a, on a ley line. So we're more likely to have twins. And we've got spot, steady spot and good schools. I'm feeling good about this. I know I'm going to be tearing my hair out at some point, but right now I'm feeling good about this. <laughs> you can't go to sleep yet. You have to take a pregnancy test. We have to end this properly. I know you're tired. Are you going to invite him to stay over? That would be nice. Yeah, invite him to stay the night. You can kick him out of your life forever in the morning. No! No! Okay, no, we are trying again. We are trying again. I am going to end this episode with a pregnant matriarch. I'm sorry, that is how this is happening. We are getting a pregnant matriarch. Even if it cuts into my pie baking time. Profess untying love, no. Come on. Yes, eating for two. And showing already. That must be that ley line. <laughs> it's like an alien pregnancy. He's so excited. Imagine, just imagine some random person meets you at a park. You grab lunch. You cheat on your spouse with them and they get pregnant. <laughs> and you're like, cool. He's really into it. <laughs> Bjorn the stud. <laughs> All right. On that note, we are going to leave our lovely matriarch with her first pregnancy for this episode. And we'll be back for the next one in a few days. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear your input, what you love, what you hate, and I hope that you are having a day that is as wonderful as you are. Bye!